Hello and welcome to Arm with Controllers. This is Fabs and I am once again playing some Final Fantasy V. Now, in the last video we got the fourth lithograph, which means we are all set to go kick X deaths behind. But I'm a massive procrastinator, so I'm gonna get on my black chocobo, which is purple for some reason. Anyway, yes, I'm gonna get on my black chocobo, or chocobo if you prefer that, prefer that pronunciation, and we're gonna go fight Bahamut. Why? Because quite frankly, why not? If, if there is a big king of the dragons flying around your world, you do want to basically be able to say, yes, I brought him to heal. He makes my teeth me now. And that is the point of this. I shan't be able to summon him in battle outside of a magic lamp. That is true. But I will be able to say, yes, I killed Bahamut. Um, I did manage, of course, to get horrendously lost because I can't read a map. I thought that the chocobo icon on the map was the one I'm currently flying. No, it was uh, Boko, Butz's childhood chocobo. Long story. So I'm eventually going to find it. Uh, the thing about black chocobos is, even though they can fly, they can only land on forested areas. Which, those of you who play Final Fantasy IX might remember being the case with the gold chocobo and that one. Um, now, of course, why I'm not using the airship is because, for some reason, this airship, which can transform into a boat and then a submarine, can't land on non-green areas. So, for some reason, deserts are completely out of the uh, out of the question. I don't get it either. But then again, there's a reason this is called Final Fantasy and not Final Verisimilitude. Okay, so here's a here's a desert fight because you know deserts usually have monsters in them. In this case, it's a land squid. Makes perfect sense. So what kind of geomancy can I expect? Desert Storm, which is pretty powerful. I can't, can't argue with that. These guys aren't the strongest, but they do a bit of damage. But they can't handle any more than two Desert Storms. And I get you know, a fairly decent amount of money out of it as well. And a couple of level ups. So all in all, a fight worth having. Something I bet your mother never told you. Because they all say, oh, don't fight. Yes, well, sometimes we need to punch that arrogant boss. Hey, anyway, so, just uh, trawling the desert uh, up to North Mountain here. Um, to the southwest is the Phoenix Tower. I won't be doing that, largely because I can't be bothered. That's right, you've got somebody real, a real go-getter doing this, in case you hadn't tell. <laughs> okay, so, who's the fight this time? Land Squid and a Centipeeler. That's a really weird name, Centipeeler. As opposed to, you know, calling your main character Butts. But that's different. I have you know, to do with rectums, and rectums are a good name for most things. Uh, anyway, so my geomancy at the moment is stuck on dust, which is really super awesome. And these guys aren't doing very much. That's curious. They're probably planning some kind of evil super death attack. There we are, critical, which missed. Ha! Ah, thank you, Ferris. There we go. Desert Storm, pretty strong. Uh, the other desert geomancy move, uh, Quicksand, is brilliant, might I add, because it tends to one-hit kill everything. It literally sucks them in, and they're gone, and everyone laughs. Oh, and how we laughed. Okay, so North Mountain here. One of the fun things about this little bit is that the monsters here have not changed in any way whatsoever compared to when I first went up this mountain at the beginning of the game. So yes! That means they are doing me zero damage. And even my weakest attacks are one hit kills. Sometimes there's God. So suddenly. See, so I can even use a basic attack from my Dragoon in the back row and it still kills him. I didn't even need to jump. And I got two two job points out of that, which is surprisingly high. Oh well. Okay, so this uh, this I can't remember exactly what this uh, mountain was about right at the start but I do recall there were some nasty poison flowers which ruined it for everyone um, yeah I really really don't recall never mind so it really is just a uh, happy little run up see what's uh, kicking yeah see those purple flowers there they're um, right pains in the behind if you don't have geomancy because yeah you they poison you, and as well we know, poison just drains your life when you're trying to do things. It's very annoying. 
so let's just keep running. We're almost we're, we're running up that hill, almost up there as well, which is pretty good. Okay, and here we are at the summit. So let's uh, do a bit of equipping magic then. Okay, first off, yes, it is going to be another wall ring extravaganza. This is because Bahamut Mega Flare is actually reflected for some reason. So, you know, either A, I could let myself take you know, 9,000 damage apiece, or I could give it back to him. Which do you think is the more sensible option? Answers on a postcard. Okay, so now we have a Final Fantasy V FMV. Look at it, all FMV-esque. God, I love it. Now, I really hope this is some kind of crazy scale or perspective, because if the dragon is that much bigger than the mountain, we might have done a very stupid thing. Ah, talking dragons. God, I love it. Okay, boss battle begins. So we're all flashing because that's what happens. Okay, and here is one of the possibly the best uh, geomancy move ever, Stalagmite. Basically, cause a landfill, which is brilliant. Uh, it does four hits, which means against a single one here, it does a lot of damage. Oh, I've got atomic ray was also uh, reflected. Poor Bahamut. Let's see if we can get it again. Here we go. Yeah, stalagmite. Falling from the skyline, bunch of rocks and whatnot. I think it's called Land uh, Cave In in the GBA version. Yeah, so it's ridiculously strong, with potential of doing four hits at 2000, which, granted, the, the hits are quite variable, but you know, when you're doing four of them, it, it adds up. It's almost on equivalent to you know, basic hit from my uh, knight here, as you can see. Of course, it is the problem that yeah, he does poison breath here, which is pretty strong and, wow, it really knocked butts for a loop. And he's poisoned. That ain't so good. So I'm going to throw rocks in his head instead. So that's what you do with king dragons. You throw rocks at them and they tend to be okay with that. Like so. Okay, what... How will he, will he respond to this? I'm going to get butts out of the way first because he needs it. Ah, here we go, Mega Flare. What this means is, he's in his last 10,000. And now he's dead. Ha! <laughs> okay, so that was just a uh, quick, you know, wee fun run, as it were, through North Mountain. So I just beat Bahamut, he's now mine for usage, even though I've been summoning him with the uh, magic lamp anyway. Okay, so join me next time where I finally take on the final dungeon. Join me then, my friends, so please like and subscribe, and, as always, game hard.